work here at the Wasa Mines of the Golden Star Resources it has ground to a halt following the attack by some illegal miners who we understand are from the Subriso community. Currently, the traditional leaders are saddened by this and they have asked their people to bring out all suspects living in the community. I wept when I saw the bent vehicles, the cost of an excavator. If not exaggerating, they have destroyed over 30 cars. What is the cost of a pickup? I want to tell my people that if anyone knows the whereabouts of these perpetrators, they should inform the police for them to be arrested. We also understand the police have arrested about 33 people. They've been taken to court. So the process of investigations is gradually going on. The corporate affairs directorate of the company tell us they will have to wait until the mining inspectorate division gives the go ahead for work to begin before they can resume work here. This is a third of their concessions. So currently only the other two are operating. The law says that if it's not safe, we can mine. So the chief inspector came here. So until we can assure him that it's safe to mine here. And I mean, we, look, we don't even have ambulance. When we bring people to mine here, we should have ambulances. There should be officers that are safe. Everything should be safe here before they start mining here. All gold mining companies have been asked to contribute 20% of their production to government for the gold for oil program that is currently ongoing. According to the Golden Star Resources Company, this will be adversely affected because they are now operating at two-thirds of their total production capacity. The cost is not just what you see, but also the knock-on effect in terms of our contribution to national um, sort of the statutory payments would all go down. One major thing that comes to mind straight is that last year, most mining companies contributed 5,000 ounces to our reserves. This year, we saw the new regulation or sort of bylaw that we need to contribute 20% of our annual production to the oil, oil for gold stuff. So look at the value chain here now. Where the company has been hard hit is their core yard, where they keep exploratory data, which we are told is valued in millions of dollars. And we have done a couple of drilling here and all the information were kept here. Whatever you see here, those stones, that you see, they are all carrying information. Yes, very primary source of information. And then later we have to download some of the information on it into the, into the computer. But uh, most of them we haven't done that. So we have lost very valuable information. Now, the traditional authority is concerned that this could adversely affect the working relationship between the community and the company.